Quick and simple editing to enhance your product photography. In this video, we're just going to look at a quick and simple method to enhance the lighting, to enrich the blacks in some product photography. Uh, the product in question is a KNF concept tripod. And when this was photographed in the studio, as you'll see from the edits, the light was there, but I wanted a richer black. And I also wanted to give the overall feel of the image a richer look. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, that's us in Luminar. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the light and adjust the highlights just to around there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the shadows as well. Just so it's bringing in a slight bit of detail. For that, I'm going to leave everything else. Next, of course, AI Enhance. Just to bring up the image ever so slightly in the details. Then I'm going to get into the structure and lift that again. That way we're building the basis of the image. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer. So all the edits we had in that previous layer are now on this layer. And if you look at the light, everything here, this is what we want to enhance with this image. We are going to, first of all, we're going to go back into the Essentials tab. AI Enhance Light, these are the edits we have previously. So what I'm going to do is I am going to push the blacks to give it a richer feel, richer tone, darker image with this. And I'll go to around there and I'm quite happy with the black there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in and edit the mask. I'm going to use the brush for this and because this is quite a linear image, what I'm going to do is I am going to click at a start point, hold down shift in the keyboard and then click at the end point and it will draw just a straight line across it. So this is where we take our time now. We'll go in and we'll look at the areas that we want to enhance. And we choose carefully for this. Because we don't want too much of the black from the or the lack of black from the other image coming through. So we'll just go in here, just enhance all the white areas. And remember, this can be used for anything. I'm just showing you here with product, or this product in particular. I've dropped the opacity here because I don't want to bring up too much detail here. I just want it to have the kind of skuru effect. I'm going to bring up the actual logo of the company. So there's the before, there's the after. You can see the light move in this. So I'm going to go in and I'm using that as well to check for details that I may have missed now that I've pulled down the blacks. So that's us getting to a point of quite happy with this image. Just going in and looking for other areas that we may want to enhance further. So there's the before, after, before, after. You can see the difference with that image. A couple of wee bits. Just there and there. Before, after. Just to bring out the details that are in the shadows. This here, you can see exactly where I've painted and you can see the intensity intensity that I've painted with. Next thing, and last but not least, click apply. Hopefully that made sense and hopefully you can see the different areas that that can be used in and not just for product photography. I deepened the blacks there because I wanted a richer feel to the image and once I had used the AI structure and AI enhance on the underlying layer, I duplicated the layer up and then deepened the blacks and used the mask to paint the underlying layer through so that the intensity of the light was there, but yet holding the black of the new duplicate layer. If you've enjoyed this quick video, big thumbs up. If you'd like to check out some more videos in the channel below and consider subscribing, that'd be great. Thanks again for watching.